a factory that did not, they were Chinese, and they did not even know what I was talking about, but God sent me there, and I said, listen, I want you to make fortune cookies with Bible scriptures. And they was like, yes, 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 okay, 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 okay. And I said, with Bible verses about Jesus, and, okay, 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 okay. okay. <laughs> well, because they're used to putting things in and wrapping them, and, you know, you just got to, right. You know, I think everybody needs to make a note that you can hear what might seem to be a, a simple little idea that nobody else is thinking of. But it has to do with serving somebody and doing good for somebody and helping somebody else. That is the beginning of a ministry. That is the beginning of a call. This is how pretty much every miracle starts. When somebody is willing to listen to that little voice that says, why don't you just do this and help somebody without trying to figure out the end or the middle, just that one little thing. Yeah. And that's what you did. So, look, that can happen to you, it can happen to you. So, you're having dreams, you're having visions, and you're, you're dreaming I, cookies. I, I, I wanted to dream, it was so Cookie. cookies. Right. Cookies. Cookies, right. And so... <laughs> We're gonna scroll fast. <laughs> and yeah. so, so, so I follow the dreams, I contract the factories. Now, for two years, almost two and a half years, I'm passing cookies out to everybody in Atlanta on the corners, you know, where they're bought just about now, you're just cookies. Doing, you're just giving them away. That's all I wanted to do. Okay. I thought, you know, so I'm just giving cookies away. Somebody had a bad day. I see people on the street. I mean, and then maybe year number one, I would walk the streets in the west end of Atlanta and I'd hear, hey, cookie lady. <laughs> I got a cookie and it said, I'm a fisher, I'm, I'll be fishers of men, <laughs> you know? And people you, started giving me the word back. And so I'm just thinking still, you know, God is just, you know, doing his thing. And then a magazine called and said, we're looking for the lady with those cookies. Oh. Uh, just a magazine? Do you know what A big magazine. It had something to do with Donald Trump was doing a thing in Atlanta. Donald Trump. Fox, Fox News. And they debuted my cookies um, at the World Congress Center. Oh. And they were Atlanta's most unique business in 2005. And my life's never been the same. Now, some people, you know, they're not going to open up a Bible, but they will open up a cookie. Yeah. You can, you can yeah. trick them with that. You can trick them. With, they yeah. don't have to trick them. Just here's a cookie. Just yeah. have, That's where you got to go to get the cookie. You gotta go, that, there's a scripture inside. Yeah. So who are some of the people who, who are eating your cookies that you would have never thought of eating your cookies? Well, homeless shelters, people on the streets, Dow Strawberry, Tracy Strawberry. Yeah. And <laughs> Anybody else? Just keep, just keep running. Ra 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 oh my God! I mean, they have gone literally from the streets to to major celebrities. Denzel Washington and his wife. I mean, just believe. Denzel that. Washington's eating your cook. Even as a matter of fact, e e Paulette. Even uh, as a matter of fact, someone um, from Oprah's group had called to. Um, oh, to, if Oprah to likes do, your cookies, you yeah, in? Yeah, for the favor. <laughs> That's it. You want to hear? Game over. <laughs> yeah, a funny story about that. When they uh, when they called, I called my parents, and I was like, my dad answered, and I was like, Daddy, Daddy, they called for Oprah. You know, they wanted, they want, you know, the cookies in her magazine. And my father was quiet, and I said, Did you hear me? And he said, Yeah, yeah, yeah. But right now, sweetie, my matter of fact, cookie, my basement's leaking, and I've got to go to the lumberyard and seal my my basement up. And I said, But did you hear what they said? He said, Hey, my basement's leaking. I don't hear Jesus in this. <laughs> My father said, you remember the same God that put you there today can take it all away. Mm. And so it, so it grounded me. And so it doesn't matter who gets them to me. I'm just grateful that they're getting out. Mm. <laughs> wow. You know, it's just goes to show, no matter what your talent is, no matter what your skill is, whatever you have, if you offer it up to the Lord, whatever is there in your hand. Yeah. Moses. Yeah, just what do you have in your hand? What do you have accessible to you? Offer that to the Lord to serve people and let him figure out all the let rest. Let him do it. You might not know how to get what you have to the world, yeah. but that's his job. Yep. You know, if you, if you deepen your ministry, he will broaden it. That's his job is yeah. to get it out to yeah. the world. Yeah. You just make it strong. And is there any way I can get some of these <laughs> cookies? They're coming.
coming, Carmen. They're coming? <laughs> Are they like, they have like chocolate and they all got chocolate peanut butter? And, mm -hmm. They taste like Almond Joys and the turtles and they, they're kind of after everything. They're s'mores cookies and uh, they're everything. Gal strawberry cookies. We got cookies. Gal strawberry cookies. Yeah, that's right. That's a little buddy. baseball on it. And a glove. Get it. Yeah. <laughs> well, he's he's going to be here later on tonight. No kidding. And in just a minute, we're going to hear um, um, Andrea McClurkin Malini uh, sing. <laughs> Have, have your way. And then after that, we're going to see another entry into the uh, one minute movie called Sacrifice. You're gonna, this is one that there was like a half a million hits on uh, YouTube about, about this one. So uh, it's going to be an exciting night. So stick around. Thank you for being here tonight. Loretta,